Right then, so, um, literally just arrived um, through the post is uh, this. And it is a field target style, uh, but for the Priest 2. Um, as you can see, the normal um, butt on the Priest 2 is basically just a this has got the extension on, by the way, but it's the same um, actual butt piece. It's just that it's extended by about an inch. Um, it's just a flat metal plate, um, not really much grip to it, and it's just a flat metal plate. It's that simple. There's nothing to it at all. Um, and obviously, uh, for target shooting, it's all right, to be fair. It's, it's a fairly simplistic um, stock, but if you're out in the field hunting, it works fine. But if you want to get the most out of your accuracy rifle um, and you really want to push things, then you might be considering one of these. Now these have become immensely popular with the uh, field target shooters and the uh, HFT shooters now are fitting more and more of these things on. And basically it's a sort of a fully adjustable butt pad. Um, you can get it to sit in your shoulder, hook under slightly, and it just you know, you can get it really nicely fit into it, just makes a, a much nicer um, contact area to help you get your uh, scope positioning right every time. And this one also comes with a, uh, a rear monopod. Um, and that's how it comes in the package, just three components. And uh, I got this from a chap called Goran, and you'll have to uh, forgive my uh, pronunciation here, but his name is Goran Kovan Kova oh. Kovacevic. Yeah, Goran Kovacevic. Um, and you can find him on Instagram and on uh, Facebook as well, where he makes um, these rather nice um, 3D printed butts for the. Uh, the priest. Now, obviously they're 3D fit printed, so the finish isn't, um, it's a typical 3D printed finish. Um, so they're not, you know, it's not an industrial type unit, but it's an, I must admit, it's an extremely well put together bit of kit. And basically, you've got the monopod, it's fully adjustable, and down it's a bit tight because it's brand new locks out with a nice big chunky screw on the end really chunky and then you've got the fully adjustable shoulder piece and that I think because literally this has literally just come through the door now so I'll just check this out to make sure I've got it right but basically when it comes as a little plastic piece there and inside of there is a little groove and that just flops in and then I think we just straight forward case on that screws in like that and that is your uh, foot piece and it's Adjustable up and down. These adjust. And obviously you end up with the monopod adjustment as well. And what you do from looking at it, it's actually got a small metal stud here that takes the hammer spring assembly from the back. So take, undo the four screws that hold but the metal butt that comes with the rifle on, unscrew those four screws and that screws on. And the other advantage of it is if you've got the standard um, flat metal butt plate on your uh, current priest rifle, you'll probably find that it's, and it, it makes the uh, length of pull very short on the rifle. 
that's why I bought the extended one because it adds an inch to the length of the stock. This does the same thing because once that's screwed on, you get that extra bit of length to the rifle um, to uh, bring the length of pull to a more acceptable um, level. And I think that when I fitted that, that is going to be rather smart and certainly offer a lot more adjustability than the normal. That's really, really good. You've also got a fair old bit of clearance here, as long as you haven't got the plenum extension on. Uh, well, plenum extensions up here, so it doesn't really matter. So you've got a fair bit of clearance there as well, I think. If I push that all the way in, so it's out of the way, and then line that up with the holes, it'll pretty much sit flush with the bottom as well, so you can fold that up out of the way if you want to. So I think that's quite a smart little addition to the rifle, that. So I will be fitting that. And uh, see how it goes. But that's quite a nice little assembly, that. Really, really is. And it just gives you that extra adjustability that perhaps this rifle was missing. In the things. I'm in two minds about actually before I fit it, possibly getting it Cerakoted to match the rest of the rifle, to match the uh, these plates here. Because I think Cerakoted that would look rather smart, but I'm not sure yet. I need to investigate further whether I can get that done. So I'll just have to show you a closer look up of it. So there it is close up, as you can see, that's actually slightly angled, and that's angled, and these are nice big chunky nuts, nice plastic end piece with a little sort of rubberized tip to it, to act as your monopod, and that, there's the metal piece that I was on about that fits in the back, that takes the hammer spring assembly from the standard rifle. And there is a screw in the back there as well, so you can adjust it as well. So you can get the setting back to whatever uh, setting you had your hammer spring in the first place. And there's a little locking Allen key there as well, so you can lock it once you've got it in position. So yeah, I'm quite impressed with that. I think that's really smart. And I reckon that's going to look, once that's fitted onto the rifle... Once that's screwed on, that's going to look really smart, really smart, but I don't know whether I'm going to Cerakote it first, I'm not sure yet. Yeah, so really, really good, and uh, to be honest, for what it is, it wasn't that expensive either. That's a nice, you know, it's a nice thing, N really well made, very solid. A solid bit of kit, and I think that's going to really improve the uh, the sort of long range shootability. You know, if you're into long range shooting or bench rest shooting or whatever, fit that on, and uh, that is really going to make a difference to the way that that rifle handles because it's a very impressive rifle, the priest. It's incredibly accurate. Um, so, what I'm going to do, I'm going to might just fit it anyway, just to have a quick look. In fact, I think I will. Just bear with me a minute. Right. So.
so it actually takes the uh, because the screws are so recessed it actually takes the shorter screws that came with the original um, the original setting but As you can see, you get an idea of the sort of thing that you're going to end up with. So, I remain going to get. A much more stable. And really rather comfortable setup for that. I think that's really rather nice. And you can hook it round to suit however, whatever style shooting you do. If you want it slightly more under your arm or slightly more over the top, it's multi positional, and then you just screw it all and set it all up. But I think that's pretty smart. Closer look. So that's really nice. It's really, really smart setup. Looks really good on the rifle. And that's got it now really set up for if you're bench rest shooting or uh, long range target shooting or even hunting from a hide or whatever. Something like that is absolutely perfect. Just gives you that extra bit of stability on the tripod, um, which is what it's become with the monopod on the back and a bipod fitted on the front. I mean, you're not going to get much more of a stable shooting platform than that. And it, and it looks really nice, actually. It looks really good. Obviously, I'll have to put the shorter four screws in from the original. The These longer screws um, that I've got here, these are longer screws. These come when you buy the extended... Um, rear section for the rifle um, because these aren't recessed if you look inside there these are the actual holes in the uh, the new 3d printed one are recessed so they take the original screws and not the uh, longer screws that i've been using for um, the extended book pad that i bought anyway but that's really really nice very impressed with that so there you go, the extended um, sort of HFT, FT, adjustable butt pad for the priest. Um, really nice, really well made, really good price as well, they're not expensive. Um, delivery was very good as well, actually two weeks to deliver it from abroad, which at the moment is pretty damn good. Like I say, that has come from Goran Kovos, uh, Kovavic. I've got his name right at last, Goran Kovovich. And uh, he can be found on um, Instagram and on Facebook as well. Um, and he makes these rather lovely 3D printed butt sections for the uh, the Priest 2. Uh, I think he also makes um, magazines and single shot uh, loader trays as well. So uh, he's definitely a guy worth hunting down if you, you know, have a look on it. Um, Instagram and find him it's well worth it because that is really nice it's a lovely bit of kit I mean I've seen them made for uh, FX's there's plenty of people out there making them for FX rifles um, and I've seen them for a few other rifles as well but I've never seen one for made specifically for the priest um, this is the first one I've seen made for the priest and I think it's uh, really good it's quite a solid it's solid it's durable um, doesn't weigh anything so it's not going to alter the uh, alter the balance of the rifle and it just gives it a really adjustable nice butt pad instead of just that plain piece of metal that it had on it originally so yeah i'm impressed with that that's really nice and uh, i'm going to put the shorter screws in and then maybe uh, tomorrow i will take this out and do a bit of target shooting with it and see if it makes uh, makes for a more stable shooting platform but undoubtedly it will do um just because it's bound to really monopods are always a good idea and that big fat 
um, sort of plastic and rubber end piece there will ensure that it doesn't just sink straight into the ground either. So yeah, very impressive. Nice bit of kit. Yeah, happy with that. Right, so I'm going to finish my coffee and uh, then I'll uh, change them screws around. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and look out for actually taking this out and uh, doing some uh, 40, 50 yard shooting with it. Hopefully, depending on the weather.